Hey there, this is Jen from Escapod Trailers. We are down in Monterey, California at the 32nd Annual Sea Otter Classic. And today we're gonna give you a look at the iCamper SkyCamp 2.0. All right, so now we are inside of the iCamper SkyCamp 2.0. There is one final step for setup before we can just start exploring all of the features of this tent. Um, and that is putting in these guards on the gas struts. So these just simply snap into place on both sides of the tent, like so. Uh, and this is just a physical mechanical like guard. So if there is any high winds that this roof is not going to collapse in on you, it just makes it a little bit more sturdy. So now let's talk about the fun stuff. Um, a few things that obviously stand out, just this really fun quilted uh, covering on the hard shell itself with a world map on it. We love this detail, just feel like it inspires a little wanderlust and it's a fun thing to have inside of the tent. Um, you also have these quilted pads and these sit on top of a completely solid aluminum honeycomb platform. Um, so it's really supported underneath the mattress itself, uh, which makes a nice comfortable sleeping space. And the size of this sleeping space is a king size mattress. They, on their website, they say this sleeps comfortably two adults and two children or three adults. Um, I would agree with that assessment. I think in tents and in trailers, because the walls are solid next to the edge of the bed, you can really snug up against the outside. You're not worrying about falling off the end of the bed. So it makes a queen size bed or a king size bed feel even bigger than it might inside of your own home. Some other details that we love on your side windows here, um, this is three layers. So you have this canopy that extends out. Um, I love this as a, just a rain fly. It is a waterproof material. All of the zippers are also waterproof. And then you have your screen layer. So you can zip up the screen if you want a nice cross breeze, but want to keep the bugs out. Um, or if it's raining outside, but you still want to see outside, you can fold up the little vinyl clear panel here and zip that in. So you'll still have a view outside of your tent um, while still keeping the elements on the outside of the tent um, and then underneath the window you have nice pockets here for accessory storage and all of that um, the other place that there is a cool little feature is up on the roof just show you that quickly this just unzips and can tuck away and then you have the skylight up here so you can stare at those beautiful stars while you are camping at night um, and all of this fabric, it definitely stands out from other tents that I have been in. All of this is a soft touch and it's not because you're touching the tent material, but this helps reduce the noisiness in winds when you're camping. Um, it also helps uh, reduce the amount of condensation that might develop when you are camping, especially in colder weather conditions. All right, so there are a few accessory options that I wanted to cover for the SkyCamp 2.0. One of them is the clip-in insulation layer that goes along the roof line of the tent. Um, it's removable, which is nice. If it's hotter outside, you can take it out. Um, it's also washable, and then it creates a nice little air pocket between um, the outside of the tent and the inside of the tent, uh, which helps reduce condensation, and that air pocket actually creates another um, element of insulation as well. Um, the other thing that you can add on is a zip-on annex that attaches to the awning above the ladder so you can create like a little room um, on the outside of the tent and along the side of the trailer. And they also have a really cool like gigantic shoe storage so you can clip that to the underside of the, tr of the tent um, and as you are getting in just dangle your feet while you remove your shoes and tuck them right in there so you don't need to bring your shoes uh, into your sleeping space which is a really nice option. 
One other thing to note that we would be remiss to not acknowledge, iCamper has since come out with the SkyCamp 3.0. Uh, there are a few minor upgrades on that tent. Once the 2.0 is sold through, we will be switching over to the 3.0 um, and we will do another walkthrough video of that tent to give you a closer look. The main differences, as we understand, are an improved um, exterior latch and lock mechanism, as well as an integrated insulation um, just along the roof line so you can still add more insulation from there but they are integrating some more insulation into the roof directly um, this does result in an enclosed uh, once you pack the tent away the overall height has increased about a half of an inch uh, but probably worth it for the benefits that you gain there so we'll give you a closer look at that when the time comes all right, that is a wrap on this iCamper SkyCamp 2.0 video. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you liked what you saw, make sure you give us a click on that thumbs up button down below. And if you wanna stay up to date on all of the latest product innovations and new feature additions from Escapod, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you have any questions for our team, you can always reach us at podpros at escapod.us or in the comments down below.